Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of making a geode mod. Today we're going to be making icon hack with a little toggle so you can enable and disable it. So it's going to get into a little more coding than the last episode, but I'll explain it the whole way and hopefully you guys will understand. Alright, so first we need to obviously make our project files. So we have our folder right here. All we gotta do is go and open it up in a code editor. Now that we're in our folder, they added a new like default. I ain't even gonna lie, I've never read this shit once. So you're gonna see these red squiggles, right? If you guys see making you followed the tutorial in the first video, all you know it's just as easy as going to here, typing C make. Right? And we got all three of our things that we need right here. First we're gonna need select the variant and it's gonna be release. This thing is trash! All right, so it's been a couple hours. Uh, I figured out why <laughs> why Visual Studio wasn't working. So the problem was my build tools was too up to date. All right, like believe it or not, you can't have it fully updated right now. We're gonna take a look at bindings right now to see if we can find anything that might lead to some sort of icon unlock. Or something in the game manager. Yeah, here we go. We want the class that we're modifying, so it's gonna be class modify. Right. We said it was in game manager, so game manager, just like that. And there you go. This is how you write, uh, like if you want to modify any of the functions that are inside of one of the classes. So we're modifying the bool is icon unlocked, right? So we're gonna have to give this, like, let me just give this P0, P1. All right. All right. So what we want to do is we're gonna make this its own thing. I like doing that we can do we can just set it to game manager is icon unlock that's what we're looking for with those and then at the end we're gonna return true no if it's not unlocked it returns false if it's unlocked it returns true so we're just gonna want to always have this return true all right so let's just see right now so no mega hack no nothing that would be giving me icon hack right now so if we go on to here you can see since it's returning as true, right, every single icon is going to be unlocked, including the ones that can only be unlocked in 2.21, which are these ones back here. What we want now is to have a clickable button on the screen that'll reflect what we want the icon hack to be. So a good thing to note is that Geode comes pre-installed with all of the GDP lists so it takes the images straight from there and it's you don't have to provide custom images for stuff that's in the p list so for example if we go to the gd resources something like this right something specifically i'm looking for i'm looking for the on yep here it is right there we have the on one so i'm, I'm assuming the off ones here too and that is gj game sheet three as you can see these are the images and this is the p list right here so we come to here you can see these are the names that they come from all right so here they are this is the gj check on and then there should be gj check off too which is the one where it's no check all right so these are the sprites that we need so there's three things that we're gonna need right we're gonna need the sprites the menu that that the button's gonna be in and then the button itself start off with the button right we're just gonna name it like menu and just just create the menu first all right, so this is the menu that we have, right? This is going to hold the button and the button itself is going to be CC menu item select, I believe, or uh, menu item toggler. This is it. This is what our button's going to be. We can make this like the icon button, right? And then we're just going to want to create another one of these, right? But this one's a little different, right? So the first node, you could see it at the right, the first node doesn't say it here the first one is the off sprite and the second one is the on sprite so if we just go cc sprite create right and it, it wants a uh, so create with sprite frame name that's what these are they come from the p list strip so we want the off one first so we take this right so this is our first one right this is the off sprite our on sprite is going to be the one that was right under that so it's gonna be the gj check on and then the cc object that's looking for is it, we can just the menu handler is basically just a menu selector that we're gonna do and 
actually. The last part, this we're going to come back to later. Right? And if you hover over these, you can just double check to make sure that these are the ones that you want. This is the off frame, and this is the on frame. So, how are we going to make it so that when we click this button, a bool is being changed or a boolean is being changed so that we know, right? So, first, we're going to need to make our boolean. If we just make our bool like icon hack, right? We don't need to specify it. Yeah, it's probably better to if we do it right now. We're going to want to make our own function now that's going to be editing that. So we just make our void change state, right? We just got change state. So, so we just need to make sure that this has this pointer right here as well. And we can just set icon hack to, we can just set it to the opposite of what it is right now. There's no, no like if, if or else. This, this is quite simply the easiest way that we can make it change its own state, right? And then just for debug purposes, we're gonna we're just gonna log icon hack so we know what we're getting every time. So now we're gonna return to menu selector, right? But you're probably wondering, like, how do we access this change state function that we just made? The class to modifier is game manager, right? We're gonna make our own class called. You can name this literally anything. It just has to go before the predefined class already. So we can, we can make it like icon hack class, right? And it's not gonna really matter. It's just so we know how to access this change state. So this change state, because we just made this, it's going to be under icon hack class. So with that being said, now this is going to be change state. So every time this button gets clicked, right, it's it's activating this function that we just made. Right now, if we were to run this, this wouldn't be on the screen yet. But if you remember what I said earlier... We need to have the button be in the menu that we made. So if we do that, we're going to want to have menu add child. So we're adding a child straight to this menu that we made. And it's just the icon button. Top it off. You can just add child menu, which is just adding the menu to this. The button should be on the screen now. Excuse everything that I just said, because I'm doing this under the wrong class. What we really want this to be happening in, right, is the GJ garage layer, right? So the, the garage layer is this whole thing right here. We're gonna make our bool go through the whole project right now. This will make it a lot easier, which now we can move all of this that we just wrote into are into the gj garage layer right now and what we're gonna want is the the init of the layer so that whenever it boots up our button is added onto it in that code that we just wrote we're just gonna paste it right here as well as our icon hack class we're gonna move it down here as well all right so this is what it should be looking like right now game manager is always gonna be returning true for now Right, we just want to make sure that this button is working right now. So icon hack's always going to be on. And there our button is. Does it go on? Yep. And our bool is being returned right now. So if we keep on clicking it. So the thing is right now though, if we click on this, we can see it's true. But if we go back in and out, it doesn't save. We're going to need to write something that'll update this icon toggler right so if we just do icon right toggle so we have, we made this toggle right now right and it's asking for a bool as you can see it's asking for a bool right we can just make it our icon hack because it's a it's public it's used through everything so if this is true this button's gonna be true and this will be clicked on whenever we go into it so this is our code low 38 lines and it should hopefully be working. All right, let's see. Um, this is funny because we just locked everything because it's false. So if icon hack is true, right? We're just gonna, we're gonna return icon hack. But then if it's not, we're gonna return result, which makes, so result in this case is gonna just be the game manager. Uh, it's just gonna be if you have the icon unlocked or not. And let's see, we have our little button in the middle. So it's off right now and we shouldn't have icon hack yet, as you can see, we got a couple locked icons, right? But once we click this, we should have icon hack. There you go, this icon's unlocked. We had these row was unlocked. 
or this this row was locked right now it's unlocked if we go back you see these are locked and yeah there we go the icon hack with the button is working now 2.206 is about to come out tomorrow it's the 31st of may recording this and tomorrow because of the new update all memory addresses are gonna have to be found again and updates and ports are gonna have to be done for a lot of mods so i think i'm gonna do a video on finding some memory addresses and showing you guys how to find memory addresses if you guys want to contribute to geode in some way and just make the process of recovering from this update a lot easier and other than that uh i will see you guys in the next video